contact has been made. The rebels have been found. Now all that's left to do is steal a woodsman from a hound. Welcome back to Sagas of the the Riddle of Rule. Um, it is now time for us to figure out how you're going to save Sad Jack from those Errol boys. Uh, Errol's Errand boys. Um, so what is the plan? So, uh, yeah, uh, Kasana has put on all of her armor again for, uh, once we're ready for the actual plan, she has all of her armor on, she has her talbert on, uh, above her, the, the stone f flies around forming a halo, and... Yeah, uh, just as we're getting ready, she's... She's, uh, like... So, you all will be in your own positions? If things go off, you can expect a boost in size, so please don't be surprised by that. Of course. Well... Um... She she basic yeah in that case she'll uh once we're ready she will uh go and stand in the middle of the road uh waiting uh before that happens uh like while we're all getting ready for the day uh she does uh turn to Orin and uh who is doing uh pa various painting various shapes on with a woad. Uh, die they carry like a pot of it around um it's it's like a dry one of those like watercolors that's a solid block and then you add a bit of liquid to it and then you use the top i say like i've ever done anything like that but <laughs> bloody youtube um but yeah and i think today's look is full on like below the eyes all the way up to the hairline like furiosa style nice and there is the uh Inverted crescent moon on uh, each shoulder and uh, on the side of the neck, the ma and a couple of bisecting lines on the other side. But they're like, and they most they don't. If they're doing delicate stuff, they might use a brush, but mostly they just use their hand to do it. It's not exactly thin, delicate lines unless they're using the brush, <laughs> the cans. Oh yeah. So I've meant to ask you this for a while now, but... Oh? Why do you paint the symbols of the old gods onto your flesh? Well... I... Ever since I woke up, I've uh, dreamt about them. I tend to see them in places, so it seemed only right that I uh, incorporate them. 
I don't know much beyond the shape, to be honest, but no, I don't feel right without them. And you think it's you know their power that connects you to the spirit? No, I just I don't know exactly why I'm here, but clearly it's for something. If they had a hand in it, then paying them due diligence seems only fair. Maybe. I... But I think it... the strongest power I've seen come out of you comes from you. You're very kind to say. I don't draw anything from them specifically. In the same way that, like, Apricus's spells are written in his book, but it's not the word that does it, it's him. They're just... I guess it's for me, more than anything. Does it bother you? Well... I'm critical of any being that would claim to be a god. But... If you are to paint your... paint their symbols on your flesh, you should think about what you owe them, and why. Is it... Did they do this? Did they wake you up in this form? Or was it something else? I find that the gods don't speak much, and all we have we must take for ourselves. The only person speaking to me is Aaron. You know, the one who shows up. Partner. He talks. Aaron. Similarity's not lost on me either. Interesting. Castle. Do they know why they choose to cling to this realm. I've never asked. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. All right. Aaron, this is Kassan of the Spear. <laughs> why do you cling to this realm? I don't think she's talking much right now. Well, the next time she feels talkative, let me know, and I will ask. Okay. Finish this, if that's okay. Absolutely. Of course. Uh, do what you will. And uh, then she continues to put on her own towel bird and uh, put around her all of her uh, mm -hmm. regalia of her own. I think just quietly to herself, I was just like, what a strange old lady. A <laughs> <laughs> principal, that Kasana. So you um, make your way. Uh, Soren takes you to the... Uh, ambush point and they say, alright, I'll be watching from the top of the hill uh, as you need me, you can call on me but uh, I'm interested to see how you handle this so, um, a bit of insurance just in case Is it the the top of the hill, the one that's like High close? Ground. Yeah, 
Um, Aprikus, do you want the high ground or the low cover? Uh, from the high ground, I should be able to reach everything, in theory. So it's cool, within I'll 40 take... feet, so I should be able to yeah. either blow a gust of wind at the cart or hit it with a flaming sphere. It really depends, but I have reach spell, so. Okay. Uh, then I'll take the, the low ground cover. Mm-hmm. I'll say it's 40 feet to the edge of the road. It'll be more to the interior. Oh, to get across of it. Then in that case, I should actually probably take the low ground so I can affect everything better. Sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. I'll just take the opposite of whatever you do. Sounds good. Uh, Quick question. I'll be Uh, shooting. Sort of out of How strong is Gust of Wind, Corey? How's Um, it described? Gust of Wind is as follows, and I'll drop the description in two. Uh, but basically, oh, it, yeah, it can blow anything. Uh, objects of light bulk or less are blown around. It extinguishes small non-magical fires and disperses fog and mist. And large or smaller creatures have to still reckon with the effects of it. So, I'm just thinking the visual of a gust of wind is simultaneously sh- by, uh, seeing a cart be shoulder checked by a very large barbarian <laughs> combined. <laughs> want to get the cart on the side at any point. Yeah, it would take a couple yeah. of turns to get this whole thing online if I do use it, but I presume I would be enlarging you and Kasana first. So if one of you stays within... Yeah, it would take me, I think, a total of three turns to get both of you large and then to blow the cart. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, I mean, the large lasts five minutes. If You can always get Orin or Kasana larger or combat kicks off because we're going to have time for the... I will be maybe the furthest back, keeping an ear out and looking out for the approaching cart. I will be the closest to the cart. You're going to be the one standing in the road. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be large to start with. That might make them more uh, likely to think Just, something's yeah. happening. Mm-hmm. I'll make Orin large. Yeah, I could be large them. first then if you want. However sure. you want to tackle it, it's all good. Then Orin so will start be, large. It'll be harder to hide if you're large. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair That's point. true. But do you get more ramming speed if you do a charge, if you're large? I don't think so. I don't think so. Your your reach gets bigger, and by by uh, mechanically, you do get you will be able to affect larger creatures, which means a cart that is larger than two horses, you'd be able to push. Um, oh, that reminds okay, me. Okay, so a large will make me a large creature, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And as a titan brawler, I can shove things up to two sizes larger than me. Oh, so this huge. would allow you to push gargantuan objects. Yeah. Oh. So you could always you could already push a, a huge cart, but now you'll be even bigger. Um, <laughs> in addition to that, because that reminded me, uh, Kasana and Orin will both receive a lesser cheetah elixir. Um, when you drink that, I think it should give you a five foot status bonus to your speed uh, for up to a minute. Nice. Uh, does it do anything else? Or just the plus five? I believe it's just the plus five for one minute. It's one of the very basic mutagens that I have on hand. Okay, cool. I just know that most mutagens give you some sort of penalty. Yeah, I don't think it was, but I'll I'll take a look at it real quick, I'm sure. Alright. Cheetah's elixir. Alchemical items, page 183. Cheetah's elixir, 547. And here we are. Yep, it's just a status bonus of plus five feet. No downside. Alright, cool. That's what it's like. Hello. So, yeah, I guess it's no, it's not actually... hide ex- Sorry, it's not actually a mutagen. Okay, well, duly noted for myself. But anyway, yes. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, so, um, Oren, you said you're, you're like going to be near the back of the lower side. As Vieta is at the top, Kasana is in the uh, front. Of the on the mm-hmm. on the road, all right. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Kasana 
you uh, stand in the middle of the road as you hear the of hooves approaching. And over the rise, you see the cart. Uh, sitting at the front, holding the reins, is a guardsman with the same kind of like wide brimmed helmet hat um, that you've seen before. Sitting next to him, uh, hands on his musket, is the sharpshooter who's riding shotgun. Or as it passes, you see one of those uh, big juggernauts with the great swords and the half plate wearing a bucket helmet and a cape. Uh, hanging off from the back of the car. So there are still two soldiers that must be inside. Okay. Uh, as we move over to the map. As they uh, are start approaching, uh, Kasana uh, spreads her arms out and uh, casts Sanctuary on herself. Okay. And uh, she's she took the cheetah's elixir uh, before this, and uh, she plants her guy's arm into the ground, okay. and says, "Soldiers of Aldric Errol, cease." Your momentum. Stop. Uh, you see the um, the guard's been kind of like, whoa, slows the cart down. The sharpshooter kind of like look, gives him a look and just, you know, you see him like thumb back the hammer of his gun just in case. And he says, um, you're in the road. <laughs> yes. It's a dangerous place to be. It can be. But shouldn't your roads be safe? Isn't that your job as guards? To maintain these roads safety? Yes. We're in the process <laughs> of doing that. We're bringing hey. a dangerous criminal to be tried. That's going to make everyone a lot safer. But not if you stop us. I'm afraid I cannot let you pass. I am Kasana the Spear of the People's Crusade. And I would have words with you. Give me a... Uh, give me a, an Intimidate check. Uh, good. That's my second best skill. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, he um, kind of shifts a little uncomfortably in his seat and says, Talk, I guess, before we run you over. This person you have in your wagon, are they really so dangerous that you would risk a terrible outcome. Possibly your lives. They look at each other. <laughs> I'm not sure you understand who you're dealing with here. This cart will not progress unless I allow it. Now, you could turn back very easily, but I require this prisoner be brought to me and into the People's Crusade. Um, they look at each other and they look, look kind of like a little bit not confused necessarily, but like definitely like um, kind of at a loss. Because uh, it's like, what do you do in this situation? Um, uh, before 
you see, uh, you hear some heavy boots thump on the ground um, as somebody begins moving around. He says, all right, come on. This is, this is ridiculous. She's just an old lady. She either gets out of the way or she gets run over. Uh, and they kind of look at him and then look at you. And they don't look like they are immediately ready to move. They don't look like they've really got the kind of guts to just run someone down. Um, you wouldn't run over a grandma. <laughs> they wouldn't. But the, um, the, the, the other guy kind of like rolls his eyes uh, and pulls out this big claymore, like spy hand or great sword and says, all right. Um, starts to walk forward. Says, you have got until the count of three before I cut you down while you stand. Can I give him a up and down? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, make us. You want us to make a society check to? Um, uh, what's the word? I uh, want. I would like to recall knowledge or identify this. What uh, yeah. what this guy's fighting capabilities are? Absolutely. Uh, what was that? That was a nineteen. This guy looks like he is about your level. He looks tough. He he knows how to use that sword. Um, he doesn't look like he's the sword will be, is very fast. He look like he, he'll be reactive enough to like um, you know uh, do like uh, react to like people moving around him. But that sword is built for big, wide swings and knocking people around. For sure. Uh, do I get the impression that? Uh... He's, uh, do I get the impression that he's a particularly, uh, clever person or is, or, or is he just like, oh yeah, no, I could cut down a bit. I could cut down a grandma. Uh, he's more than willing to cut down a grandma and he not necessarily clever, but he doesn't all, he also doesn't look like, um, foolish. He looks like he's got like pretty solid, um, he's a solid all rounder as I guess we would say. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. She steps up and says, Tell me, in rule is cutting down someone, the threat you give before the threat of imprisonment or law breaking. Well, it's funny. We could fit another person in our cage, but why would we want to clutter? A uh, fellow in there shouldn't be cramped before he hangs. It's all just uh, coming to the end anyway. Why not? Um, he steps forward. Why not kill two birds with one stone? I give you your last chance to live, to walk away from this. Um, he's wearing a full on bucket helmet, but you can see through the little like checkerboards in there that he smirks. He says, sure. All right. Uh, and he goes to swing and let's roll initiative. <laughs> oh boy. As I see, uh, can I roll uh, diplomacy or intimidation? For you can initiative? roll with intimidation, absolutely. Uh, okay. and I'm going to see if this if this song that I labeled anachronistic pump jam is a good song. Uh, <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, um, given that I'm uh, off the road, I'm going to spend a hero point. Nice. Um, could I roll stealth for initiative since me, Elizabeth, and Oren are off the road? Absolutely. Nice. Oh, I should, should I have? I don't know. I'm. 
I was like, should I have rolled you stealth? You can. You, you can. can. Uh, you could do stealth or um, the other thing. Yeah, and if you already rolled, you could just have added the difference between them. You don't have to re-roll or anything. Good. I'm on the I don't know section. what my... Yeah, your perception modifier oh. over by perception, or it'll be stealth. Mine's the, the same, actually, so. Always yeah. flat-footed, never the flat. You see, uh, Kasana <laughs> has a one wisdom, and she's not tra an expert in perception. However, she is uh, got a plus 10 to intimidation, so nice. much better to roll for, intim for initiative. Uh, yes. I have a plus two bonus to my initiative in general. Ah, <laughs> uh, incredible initiative. We love to yes. see it. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a good one. Oh, damn it. It's the only reason why my initiative is vaguely decent. Sharpshooter rolled really well. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh, he did. Bastard. Yeah. Well, that's okay, because uh, yeah. I, I have rolled Sanctuary well. on. You do have Sanctuary on, which is great. Um, as the Sharpshooter realizing what's about to happen before anyone else does um goes something's wrong with her uh and 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 jumps up and uh and fires or attempts to uh he's gonna make a will save against sanctuary dc 20. dc 20 just oh. barely makes it all right he can make uh all of his attacks this turn uh fantastic um he's not going to designate you his target yet but he is going to fire on you <sighs> That's a miss. It's a miss. Um, you like like duck out of the way. The shot rings, fits past you. Um, he goes okay. Pulls out, reloads, um, and then and then points uh, and does designate you as target with his last action. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me see if there's a little target. Yes, there it is. Nice. Uh, you are his target. Elzbieta. Uh, was the other big guy in the back of the cart, um, or like uh, hanging off the back? Not you have not seen that. This guy was hanging out the back and then jumped okay. off to go and deal with Kasana. Okay, cool. Um, then let's see here. Um, everyone's. I thought. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> how good? Let's see. Everyone is pretty far, so I'm going to be taking that penalty. Regardless. Um, okay. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try devise devise a way to hit that sharpshooter if he's standing up. Uh-huh. Absolutely. He's certainly visible. Yeah. Um Oh, that's not gonna that's not gonna do it. Um <laughs> Especially not with the, uh, a, I was gonna say a problem, uh, a problem bonus. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I meant. Penalty. <laughs> a penalty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my new favorite. I like term for problem that, yeah. bonus. Problem bonus is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so then, in which case, um, I think, uh. Okay, so then I can also just roll to strike normally. No. Yeah, well. Uh, oh no. Well, to I strike mean, like someone without else. using to strike. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead uh, and yeah, try to hit the. Uh, basically, when you de when you uh, devise a stratagem, that's how any attack against that character will go this round. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, try to hit the driver. Cool. Then, okay. Um, mm -mm. Still with the minus two. Um, yes. Fantastic. If only elevation well, that's... bonuses. Wait, wait, wait. So, um, is this technically a creature the subject of the lead I'm pursuing? Yeah, all of them are. All right. Uh, so that means uh, my de my lead device a stratagem. Three. Yes, my stratagem is then a free action. Yay! Yay. Uh, yes. That's cool. So now I have uh, three things I can do. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna go ahead, and so uh, so can I do the stratagem again, or is that just a once per turn? I no, it's a remember. once per. It's a you can only do it once per round. Beautiful. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and 
wait for roll 20 to catch up. Um, so that would be 16 to hit. Wait, why did I roll twice? Uh, maybe you clicked it twice. Uh, so that would have been no, a 15 to hit. Yeah. Uh, which will not hit, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so, so, uh, Algebieta, you, um, wait, 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 actually, you're undetected, which means that uh -huh. he was flat footed to you. Oh, yeah. Yes, because it's not just that you rolled stealth with initiative, it's that they straight up did not know you were here. Yes. So, that a 16, a fifth, no, a 15 still doesn't hit. Um, because their uh, AC oh, correct. Because it was minus two and then plus two, so yeah, it's still yeah, yeah. A so. So because their AC is eighteen, barely okay. not. a sixteen. Yeah. Hit. But, you know. oh, so, yeah, so you stand, you stand, boom! Fire the musket. There's this oh, crack. Another musket shot uh, comes out, and the guardsman says, "We're under attack." And I then proceed to uh, duck back in and hide. Uh, yeah, you would just you would just like jump and sneak. Um, you can move half your movement to break line of sight and then just take cover. Okay. Yes. What do I do? Uh, yes. I'm just going to like, whoops. I'm just going to kind of like, I'm going to kind of like start going that way a little bit. Cool. And then make a stealth check and that will, everyone who's, ace, who's DC you beat, uh, you will become uh, hidden to. Okay. And then does this tie into my shadow mark? No, I'm technically not uh, following them. Your so shadow? Speak. Oh, sh like like a that's a is that a is that a skill feat? That's a skill uh, feat. Uh, no, because if, if that's okay. specifically for avoid notice, which is exploration activity. Okay, cool. That, then that's that's stealth. moving in stealth in cut in cover. This is this is your sneaking. Thirty um, twenty on stealth. 30, 20 on stealth. Okay, the guardsman no longer knows where you are. Uh, the juggernaut would know if he was looking, uh, and the sharpshooter is aware of, like, knows where you are, but the guardsman doesn't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reload, and that'll be my turn. Oh wait, that is. Yeah, yeah, you, it was it was fire sneak reload. You're fine. Um, okay. Yeah, you, as you like duck behind cover and like shh, pull throw in another yeah. another uh, uh, paper cartridge and. Um, Lock and load. Casada the Spirit is you. Oh, uh, no, never mind. I think so, I want to delay until after the big guy's turn. Uh, okay. Sure. Because, yeah, like, I had a. I think I want to do that because, uh, one, Sanctuary will be go down the moment I attack, and two, I think Kasana wants to give him that chance. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> sounds good. Fair. Um, so, so yep, your AC so... is now going to be fifteen. Uh, or, uh, my or... initiative is sixteen. He goes first because monsters go first. Yes, exactly. Uh, cool. Um, you hear movement in the cart, but nothing happens, and it is the Juggernaut's turn. Uh, and he says, "You really should have just gotten out of the road," um, as he is going to. Swing his big uh, Zweihander at you. All right. It's going to miss, though. Well, first and foremost, did he make a will, will save? save? Oh, right. He has to make a will save. He failed. He can't even attack me. He So he, like, he, like, pulls back his sword and, like, yeah. what the hell is going on? Um, he does uh, not know. It, it and it can't uh, attempt further attacks against the target this turn. Uh, fantastic, yeah. And he, he's just, like, confused and doesn't know what's going on. Uh, as it becomes your turn, as this guy is, like, struggling with his sword, as it suddenly becomes heavier and heavier uh, as, as every time he attempts to swing at you. And, uh... Yeah, uh... I think... She's... I think she'll, uh... Yeah, uh, she's going to... Uh... 
move over here. And say, you had your chance. I warned all of you. Maybe you'll survive long enough for to reconsider your actions. And uh, first action she does, is, the next action is she casts Lifelink on Apricius. Okay, okay. Uh, you, if you had had damage, you would have recovered four. But uh, right now, you uh, basically are linked to me. Uh, there you go. Let's put a red on you and a red on me. And uh, every time you take, uh, th every time you take damage, I take three, and you take uh, three less. Nice. Yeah, I, the squishy man, appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then uh, Kasana, with her uh, silver guy's arm out, uh, swings it and tries to like just smash it into him. Uh, and this is going to be a guy's arm attack. Cool. Uh, for 22. Woof, 22 Ooh. just hits. Well, uh, here's the thing. I bespell my weapon, and it deals two negative damage as well. Because he I takes, cast a necromancy spell. It takes 22 damage. Uh, as your guy's oh. arm just... As, like, you like, boom! There's a huge clanging sound as his, uh, his, uh, bucket helmet just rings like a bell, and he goes... Ah, God. Yeah. Also, the light around Kasana like is just getting very bright. Uh, white mm. energy is flowing up around her. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I play and the, uh, Your anima yeah, yeah. is flaring. Oh yeah, and all the grass like is starting to bloom around her feet. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, cool. That is Kasana's turn. Uh, next is the guardsman, um, who is going to. Uh, drop the reins and and grab his crossbow, which he's going to fire at Kasana the Spear. Ah, ah, ah! Uh, that Swing. is a mess. Yeah, you just like kind of duck and it just goes right past your head. And there's ah, uh, and and um, reloads. Oren Natsuku. Uh, I also have downed my cheater elixir. Okay. Um, just to clarify, before we started, like when we had them coming, basically, just like, sure. or when the wind, I saw it. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, if I try to get a perception check on, because there was movement in the wagon. Uh, actually, no, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yep, I'm gonna head towards the back of the wagon. I will stride ice uh, to get there. Um, so I'm stood at the back, and I will, uh, spin my scythe over in my hands, and I will go into a rage, and this will be, a uh, Spirit Instinct negative energy, and anyone that could see it, assuming, like, the people in the, uh, in the back of the wagon, much like the dark saber in the Mandalorian, uh, it, the blade side just has that sort of negative space darkness to it as it hums i can see it oh, nice from where i'm Hell hiding yeah. i can't but that's extremely cool <laughs> elsbieto just goes hmm. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. and that is my turn sick uh you see it's coming now out um uh to be behind the cart you see through the flaps in the covered part of the wagon uh, another juggernaut, a guardsman, and behind them in a cage is uh, a dark okay, skinned man. That, that mustache. And mutton chops. Yeah. Uh, his, his face seems permanently <laughs> affixed in a sort of rictus grin one could only call the expression. Yeah! He is disco. That, he is disco. That, this, is, this is entirely Corey's <laughs> fault. Uh, <laughs> uh Prikas, that is you. I can't believe Thought you said you were sad. Why are you smiling? <laughs> His brother's happy and he was sad. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So after a quick measure of distance, Aprikas will decide that Oren 
for the moment, <laughs> while looking or sounding at least incredibly angry, probably has this handled. So he'll thrust a hand out towards Kasana and to repay her lifelink in kind will make her big. In All right. Big, oh, wait. There we go. All right. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to update my damage with a plus two. And, uh,. All right, I'm updating my... I'm doing it on paper, so I yeah. don't... Nice. There we go. And as he thrusts his hands out and raises them up, rise forth as the avatar of the crusade. <laughs> and he'll follow that up with just a finger pointed out and pew, force bolt the uh, juggernaut. <laughs> yeah, the force, it's like, I, I, I like to think it's like a straight shot that gen, then just arcs around Kasana and continues going. <laughs> Love it. Um, pew, pew. As, yeah, just a... Boom, hits this guy in the in the bucket helmet again, rings his head. He is he's looking a little hurt. He's like he's like at like uh uh sixty six percent uh of uh effectiveness. Nice. <laughs> uh fantastic. That is a pretty good and next is the guardsman who goes Oh fuck what the, ah uh run, <laughs> runs out um and starts to stab at uh you from the top of the cart, uh, from the inside of the cart, um, Orin. Spear! Go! Shit! Yes. <laughs> he stabbed <laughs> ah. and he missed. <laughs> yeah, he stabbed again and, and he missed again. No, these guys are not ineptly I like designed. The they're idea of like Orin just kind of like dodging the spear. <laughs> these guys are as effective as a first level fighter. It's just that, like, that, that they're just rolling like shit. Yeah, they um, deserve it. <laughs> all right, that is round two. It is the sharpshooter's turn. Uh, His oh, target just go bigger. <laughs> Dustin is your target. Uh, as he has now designated you his target and fires his musket at Katana's spear. All right, that is a hit. That is a hit, not a crit, thank God. Uh, you take a total of 10 damage because you are his designated target. Uh, he loads, uh, fires again. Wow. All right. 26 hits again for eight damage. Ooh. All right. Uh, and then it's his turn. He, he, he lowers his musket smoking. He says, Gerald, come on, kill it, kill her. And there's a wizard, kill the wizard, kill all of them. Uh, that is Ajbieta. Yes, I will go ahead and attempt to. Um... Ooh, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see here. Who do I want to shoot at? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to uh, to. Um... What's my, what's the max limit of the musket? Because it's 40 without a penalty, and then... I mean, it's, I guess the, the effective max limit is the distance at which the penalty means that you're rolling with a zero. Okay. So every, tw every 20 feet it, after the 40, it goes every four, down every four Every 40 feet, it goes down by two. Oh, it's increments. Gotcha. Okay. Um, then in which case, I'm going to go ahead... Um, I can't... I'm going to uh, sneak back a little bit so I can be a little bit closer. <laughs> cool. And then um, take... A... I'm going to go ahead and devise a stratagem against... Um, actually... No, I'm going to go ahead and devise... Yeah, I'm going to devise a stratagem against the sharpshooter. I would love to just get him out of the way because he's literally calling the shots. Oh, yeah! I'll um, take that, baby! Crack <laughs> that'll, that'll Natural probably, 20! That'll probably do it. I think that'll probably hit that guy. So I would love to go ahead and do that. Um, uh, yeah, feel free, feel free to do that. Uh, so that's that's going to be the um, what I did basically before, right? The 2d10 yes. and then the 2d6? Uh, 2d10 and 1d6 because I had, I had next level your strategic strike will increase uh, but it has not happened yet um, so it's 2d10 plus 1d6 and that's doubled and you add another d10 okay 
Uh, I thought it was 2d6 because it's the musket, but then the... That's right, it changes to a d10. Okay, I'm learning. Mm-hmm. So, 2d10 plus 1d6. Uh, and then that was doubled. And then... Yeah. Okay, so 2d10, 1d6 times 2, that's it, right? Uh, 2d10 add... plus 1d6 times 2 plus 1d10. Okay, plus, plus 1d10. Yes. Uh, it's the same thing as, as the as the role for the marksman whenever he gets a crit. Uh, fuck. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just bang! Uh, and this marksman um, <laughs> just how do you crit on someone and not kill them immediately? What? Uh, he, you so he is like holding up his musket and the, the musket ball, we get, uh, we get a um we get a, a an elite sniper, a sniper elite four, uh, <laughs> slow motion shot of um, the ball leaving Elizabeth's musket, turning. Um, it we see it go over the head of the cowering guardsman, and then straight into the forearm bone of the sharpshooter, bah, blasting out his forearm. Uh, shattering one of the two bones in it. Um, he oh, can yeah. still use his hand, but it's going to hurt like hell. Um, yeah, baby! And that is, you nearly killed him outright. Uh, okay. He is nice. badly injured now. Um, so if Aprikus wants to, um, to, to get him, to set him on fire, uh, but I'll go ahead and make him flat-footed for uh, Aprikus in that case. And then I'm just going to go ahead and can I see the 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 little minion hanging out of the back trying to yeah, poke at Orin? You can see the guardsman. You can't yet see the juggernaut. Or okay, that's fine. Yeah, I I don't. Um, I will go ahead and uh, just reload and take a shot at that guy. Cool. This will be at a minus five. You'll be able to just click the the number two next to the attack button. Oh yes, beautiful. Um. Wow! Ooh, holy him. shit! That's a twenty-two. <laughs> That'll hit a guardsman. Nice. Uh, and then so they minus. just yeah, yeah just, just click, click the, the damage. damage button. Yeah, yeah, that's that's incredibly uh <laughs> this one. Cool. So he no. just takes five yes. uh, as the musket ball like cracks into his helmet, leaves a leaves a dent and a, a well, not a dent it goes through his helmet but it it like it's it's enough of a of an off angle that it doesn't go through his head right just gives him a bit of a headache yeah you see like blood start to drip down through his helmet into his hood um very good turn Elspieta, uh as it becomes the juggernaut's turn um who knew it was as... meant to be a, a musket a sharpshooter all along Born yeah. killer. Hell yeah. it's some yeah, just... peak plunk Plunk it in the Klein energy. I gotta just, say it, it's very just good. Wait, like October, November, I can't remember exactly. Guns and gears, it's gonna fucking <laughs> rule, dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, next summer, ga uh, gas lamp fantasy. We're gonna do it. Uh, oh, maybe. Sex. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as the juggernaut uh, kind of starts moving out, um, he says, "All right, that's enough of that." jumps out of the thing past Orin, points at you, and says, I'm going to kill you in particular. <laughs> uh, but then spends the rest of his actions getting up to you. Oh, but now, you said he was you... pointing at Orin, but uh, I was just kind of Sorry. like, okay. <laughs> He's pointing at Elspieta. I wasn't looking at the, the thing, yeah. Yeah. And I, I come back I, like, I, why I, is he I... heading for me? Yes. Um, but he spends his whole turn getting up to you, but now... This huge, just buff dude in armor yeah, holding like a this. massive Zweihander stands above you and is about to start going at you. Uh, okay, let's not. <laughs> and it's the other guy's turn, and he is going to do the same to Kassan of the Spear. Uh, he is going to swing his uh, big old sword. Does he have reach? Oh, right. He's going to move in and swing his big old sword. Mm -hmm. That's one hit. 15, bam, uh, hits, um, and then, uh, second action is going to do a push kick, 
and miss. That's a super miss. Super miss. <sighs> does not hit with the, with the kick, but does swing up, get a big chunk under your like your underarm where it's where it's uh, uh, exposed. Pulls out, kicks, but you like sidestep. He like just stomps his foot on the ground. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a big hit. You're not looking great. Oh no, yeah, it's a lot of damage. And this Kasana's turn. Kasana is going to use her healer's blessing and then lay hands on herself, uh, which also makes the uh, life around the, around her start to like flow outward rapidly. Cool. Um, yeah, and she uh, gains. Uh, back some health, and then she funnels uh, some of that necromantic energy into her guy's arm as she smashes it down on him. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, An 18 is not going to hit him. Yeah, I'm going to spend a hero point. Sounds good. How hard is this supposed to be? This is a... Oh yeah, this is a hard one. This is a lot of guys that you're all fighting at once. Uh, 24 will hit. He takes 15 damage. Boom. Yeah, you're, you're you're starting to get at you're starting to get at him. He's starting to look pretty bloodied. You see, like he's got his own uh, tabard that has the symbol of the arrows on it. Uh, that is like little spots of blood are starting to appear on it. His, bra- his breathing is getting a bit labored. His sword is kind of the tip of it is dipping as he like as he stops and ends his swings but he is still a threat uh, all right so, and that is your turn uh next is the guardsman uh who is uh i think he yeah he fired and reloaded so now he is going to fire at um a Precus, who oh, does boy. have cover from the fence thank goodness was, ah wizard <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> Reload. <Ooh. laughs> um, the sharpshooter. So the sharpshooter is holding his arm and 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 and, but it like screaming with a good teeth. He says, "If you can't shoot him, go and stab him." He goes <laughs> right, right. Uh, hops off the thing, uh, and and begins to move. Uh, head towards uh, Aprikas. Orin, that is you. How strong does this uh, guardsman in front of me look? As strong as the ones you fought last session. Okay. Which were not strong. They're, they are the and level you're real one. real good in the jaw. Yeah. Um, okay, I want to try and trip this guy. Effectively, I'm trying to knock him off the back of the car, but with a trip. Cool. Like, yeah, for sure. Feet out from underneath him. God damn it. I mean, Mother this guy's not that strong, but that's still not enough, I don't think. Yeah, I'll hero point that because I'm pissed off about What's so funny too. is it's almost enough. Oh, oh. wait. One Poor second. Man. That counts as a check, right? Yeah. Um, your uh, your weapon bonus would help. Would help. Oh, Spirit Squad. Fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, just like... What's interesting is actually because it's uh, Erin running through, it's actually Orin talking to her, say, a little bit lower, and <laughs> just uh, correct uh, the swing. 30. Yeah, that'll crit. Um, so what, what Orin does, you like twirl your spe- your um, scythe, right? Mm. Catch it along the, the back of this guy's heel and then just yank. Um, he goes horizontal in a second slams against the bottom of the cart flips and turns and lands on the ground boom uh prone ah uh, and takes a d6 of bludgeoning damage i was gonna say does he take a d6 let me just quickly roll that ow hit the ground hard it's five yeah he looks he He already got hit in the head with a bullet yeah, Oof. he looks up at you with just blood streaming down his nose. Um, I suggest you run. And uh, I hop wanna, up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to give me a it, demoralize and intimidate real quick for that? Sure. Do I have to be trained in intimidation to do that? Oh, yeah, then Is, yes. If you're not, then no. Then yes. I am not. I just, I just say it. Uh, then I want to hop onto the back of the cart. 
mm -hmm. uh, I get in and say to, uh, so is this Sad Jack? Just this like, is Sad Jack. Sad Jack. Well, ahoy you know, there! Your risk. Your risk. Your risk. Did he just say ahoy there? He did. <laughs> we are your risk your risk today. And I want to try and break the cage open. Cool. Uh, give me an athletics check. It'll be with a minus five because it's this is another attack. Okay. Can I do that or should I use my scythe to do it? I know it's a minus five either way. Same deal, yeah. Okay. Um, whatever uh, Whatever your best thing is. Uh, of the two, it's uh, actually athletics. Only by one, but mm -hmm. <laughs> still. 27. That's a nat 20. Um, you, That's uh, what it is. <laughs> You um, loop the butt of your scythe in mm, to the it. where the yeah where the where the like padlock is and just crack it, bust it off. Uh, the the cage door swings open and Sajak goes, "Fantastic! Let's kill some motherfuckers." Uh, as a free action, can I pass in my hatchet? Uh, yeah, and he, 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 twir he twirls it uh, with visible glee. I want. I want that back. Sure. Uh, let me roll initiative for Sad Jack, who I did hey I did uh, pick an NPC stat block for him to use, um, which is uh, the tracker NPC from the game. Oh! Okay. Wow! Okay. Sad Jack! Oh, <laughs> Sad Jack. I'm the best fucking woodsman in the Rams. <laughs> He's my new best friend. I love this <laughs> we man. We like Jack. He's great. <laughs> we uh, like Jack, yes. Uh, sweet. Or you got sad Jack on your side. It is Aprikis' turn. Okay. Um, Aprikis seeing Kasana get sort of whacked around by the sharpshooter and the uh, juggernaut will sort of poke back up from the bush after having ducked down to avoid getting sh shot. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, let loose an acid arrow against the juggernaut. Woo, baby! Ooh. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, once more, like this, this, um, uh, I mean, you can say, what does your acid arrow look like? And how does it, mm. uh, how's it affected by the fact that Kasana is between the two of you? This just fizzing, frothing bolt of green acid flies forth from his hands, arcs right over Kasana's frame, and comes right down on top of the juggernaut. Cool. Like a, like a like a lobbing strike. Um, yep. And it just like smashes this guy in the chest. And he goes, ah! as yeah, he takes fourteen acid damage, uh, and it begins to eat away at his skin and armor. Uh, uh, so he's going to take that persistent damage at the end of his turn. Yes, and it will be lovely when it happens. Uh, yeah. Yeah, full, these, full max sick. damage, yeah. yeah. Um, since he finds himself uh, somewhat besieged by uh, the guards as well, he'll whip up a quick shield. Nice. Fantastic. Um, uh, sweet. Uh, it's this guardsman's turn. Uh, he is going to stand and dust himself off and look at Sad Jack's grinning face, uh, holding a hatchet, which he licks. Um, and he's did I just like, have a spare hatchet in the back, no, or did you just I, I gave him mine? Oh, you gave it to him. Okay, okay, that's what I missed. Um, Will we and he goes, this? The guardsman goes, "No fucking way! No fucking way!" All right, uh, and <laughs> what's it? Fair. Round three, huh? round three begins. It is Sad Jack's turn. You've saved him. At what cost? As he <laughs> does a full front flip out of the uh, cart um, and That's... looks up. Uh, yeah, he uh, does. Uh, your front, your uh, your sharpshooter. She's um, she's not gonna last very long with that guy. Uh, and just catch it raised, just start screaming and charging. Uh, uh, but that's his whole turn to get up there. So oh, no, sad Jack. Sad Jack is out. What will he do? Um, I love it. <laughs> it is the sharpshooter's turn. Um, who, he is like, 
Okay. One target at a time. <laughs> one target at a time. Draws a bead once more on um, uh, Kasana the Spear. It's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot this old woman, and then I'm going to deal with the rest of this nonsense. <laughs> That's Misses. Massive. Reloads. Misses. <laughs> Hit. Well, I mean, he's having <laughs> such a hard time bracing his gun <laughs> with his shattered forearm. Um, oh, sucks fuck. to be hit. Apparently. Asbieta, you have a massive uh, juggernaut bearing down on you, but behind him you see the grinning form of Sad Jack. Um, his, I have his a juggernaut bearing down on me, oh. and he's got a juggernaut bearing down on him. <laughs> um, so what I would like to do, let's see. Um, so does does he now count as flat-footed, the juggernaut? He is. Uh, if you move to uh, this spot, he would be flanked. Okay, cool. Then yeah, because what I would like to do is I have athletic strategist, and I would like to try and um, disarm. Uh, like so, I can free action. Uh, pull out my nightstick and like extend it, and I would like to try and use it to uh to disarm the juggernaut. If I step, oops, wrong button. Uh, yes. Um, him being flat footed won't affect that. Okay. Um, so you don't have to sure. step. Yeah. Okay, um, I don't have to step. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead. And uh, so I can devise my stratagem to modify a strike, uh, either to uh, modify it to a disarm, a grapple, a shove, or a trip. Mm -hmm. Basically, so, unless you um, use your intelligence for athletics, which is mm -hmm. such a cool thing. I have an investigator. I thought about getting it. Well, actually, I could still get it, but I'm not trained. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah. it's such a cool ability. Yeah, because I was just kind of like, this is very Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock Holmes. 100. Being like, pinpointing all of it, and then just going pew, pew, pew. So I'm going to attempt that. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, so good. That is... Oh, oh. <laughs> you could hero point. Hero point it. Do I? Can I? I don't have any hero points. Do I get one? Uh, oh. uh, then no. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then what I would like to do after that is... um. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, but would he get? Would he get an attack of opportunity against me? Uh, no, Kasana was able to tell that these guys are not quick enough to do that. Um, they so they've awesome. got they they. Yeah, and you've big... seen Kasana like easily move away from them. Yeah, yeah. They, okay. these, these guys these guys are like good at fighting multiple people with these big swinging arcs, but they are not like, yes. quick enough. Uh, which is you know not historical. You know, a Zweihander was actually a very agile weapon. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. The, the big and slow guys. <laughs> yes, yes, and heavy armor wasn't hard to move in. Yes, but whatever. But it's fantasy. Uh, it's a rural pain. Listen, we're not trying to simulate if you are a rich person or a peasant, and that's what armor, the difference between armor is. <laughs> yeah, so, yes, whatever. True. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, you can come and yell at me about this when we play Burning Wheel, which we won't because... Reasons. As reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I would like to just um, then Probably. double move. Um, I'm just kind of like, I'm like standing there. I have my nightstick in my hand and like, I must get in the other. And then I just go, bye. And I run. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, you can nice. move up to your speed. Okay. With one action. <laughs> um, okay. So that uh, my speed's 25. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, would I do I have to do a check if I want to like maneuver in between this tree branch right here? Uh, no, it'll just be difficult terrain. Okay. You, like, kind of remember over that. So then I'm just gonna kind of like get out of the way like over here. I think. Sure. So I was right here to here. That's 15 feet. I can go one more. Mm -hmm. So yes. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of like go back here. To give me some space so I can still shoot him if I wanted to. Uh, sounds good. Uh, first, it, it is now that guy's turn. First, he is going to uh, do a push kick uh, to Jack. Uh, a 20 hits Jack. Jack takes 12 bludgeoning damage as he just gets kicked in the in the gut. Was, oh, hey, fuck. All right, all right. Uh, as, this, as this guy then moves in to you, it says, you're not getting away that easy. Oh. 
Oh, no. This is not a minus oh. five, but that's still in that 20. Oh. Uh, I yeah. imagine 28 is going to hit you. Yes, it is. So this guy hits you, uh, deals 24 damage, and knocks you pro. <gasps> okay. Okay. Uh... So, th- yeah, this guy just steps over the tree. Big wind up. Wham! You you get the, the little... Um, it's got that, that kind of like Zweihander, like little spike in the middle. You feel that just hits you right oh. in underneath your solar plexus where your rib, rib cage is. Um, and you feel it like pop a little bit as you just get thrown to the ground. Yep. That's uh, that is not his whole fun turn. for me. Not fun for you. You are now prone. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, next is the Juggernaut who is going to continue his assault. On uh, Cassano the Sphere, uh, swings, misses, swings, hits, I believe. Yep. Cassano takes uh, 14 slashing damage as he swings one last time. Hail Mary, not going to do it. And then uh, he takes uh, six, six acid damage. Acid damage, yeah. And he's going to roll a flat check to see if he continues to burn. Ugh. He is no, he like wipes the acid off and is fine again. He is on his last legs. A big a big hit will take him out, but he is this guy has got grit and anger. Kasana the Spear, it is your turn. Kasana uh, looks at him and says Do you regret the choices that led you to this place? As she casts uh, heal at second level, because she has her moderate curse on, uh, her healing dice are d12s. Jesus. But it does it does reduce Ooh. the amount that you can heal yourself. Uh, right? Yes, I am taking two less healing uh, because of my minor curse. So that is uh, 28 healing instead of 30. Incredible. <coughs> uh, to yourself? Yes. Bringing me almost entirely up to full as I say this, Tim. Yeah, as you, as you just like wave your hand and all of the stuff goes away, you, you're brimming with vitality. Um, he's got like at some point, like the acid kind of built. Um, ooh, being raided. Hell yeah. Thank you, Cracked Die. Um, hey, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Um, <laughs> at, at some point, his. Um, his. Uh, uh, like faceplate kind of cracked a little bit and you can see like his face beneath it uh, as he just spits blood um, and he says this you should regret <laughs> your decisions look who you've allied with a fucking madman um, but you know is is standing yeah. his ground I let him say his piece, and then I swing my silver guy's arm down on him. I spend a hero point. Mm-hmm, sounds good. <laughs> 19. Ah! <laughs> Blocks it with his sword. I uh, don't have anything that can increase that by one. Because I'm... Uh... If only being like... Fair, that. This thing is higher than 20 by itself, so <sighs> increasing it by one wouldn't have done much. All right, uh, and I would have dealt an additional five damage uh, on that. That that would have been nineteen damage, but it's none. Hell yeah, yeah. This guy he uh, stops it. You see, like his his leg, his knee is like shaking to keep himself up, but he is, you know, whatever whatever bad guy he's working for, whatever like villainy that he is privy and party to. This guy has got steel in his spine. Uh, she she of... nods appreciatively to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> guys, this guy's uh, he's a tough cookie. Uh, as this guardsman comes and clambers over the um, <laughs> fence into the horse, uh, the, the old horse paddy, uh, uh, not paddy, a padlock, um, paddock, uh, and says, all right, all right, you're under arrest, and stabs you. Oh, that's a bad way to Aww. arrest. Thank you. Jesus. Uh, uh, this that... is why you can't trust the cops. Well, that does hit. <laughs> uh, um, so, 
lifelink you comes into effect, I presume. Only take, yeah, you only take four of that damage uh, as this a stab wound, uh, the scar of a stab wound appears uh, in Kasana's midsection where you were hit. Hell yeah. Um, sick. Uh, so yeah, so you only take uh, four damage, um, but now this guy is with you and he's like, oh, no more, no more of that funny spell stuff. Uh, I'll stop you. I really Aww. wish you hadn't gotten close to me, friend. Aww. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Orin, that's good. That is your turn. Uh, All right. Jack has jumped out of the cart. Uh, Elzbieta is on the ground. If this, if that set of circumstance continues, Elzbieta is dead. I yeah. yeah. I had only have a backup character. <laughs> uh, uh, gonna stride twice that cheater alexa just helping me uh make it all the way up to this juggernaut and i will attempt to swing on him oh yeah uh you, yeah you can't get i don't have can somebody who's prone give you flanking i don't think they can no can they? no, no. she's not a so. she's not an active threat and not what an ally all righty swing 20 Ooh. doesn't hit the juggernauts, does it? 20 does not hit the juggernaut. As you come in, his sword flashes up uh, and, and mm -hmm. just batters your thing away. And he says, all right, I'll get to you in a second. <laughs> oh, God. You'll get to me now. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die on uh, game that, two. That is, that is your turn, right? God, yeah. That is my turn, yes. Two strides and a strike. Fantastic. Aprikis, mm -hmm. uh, you've made a new friend. <sighs> uh Unfortunately, he doesn't approve of all this occult stuff that you're doing. It's not occult, it's arcane. <laughs> <sighs> well, friends, uh, it's unfortunate that you came this close. Uh, as you begin to do that, he says, no, stop, stop. Yep. Uh, as he attack, does an attack of opportunity and stabs you again. But misses. Whiff. Whiff. Ooh. Uh, flaming sphere. That's a great uh, damage roll on a flaming sphere. Yep. Uh, DC twenty down. basic reflex. Let's that throw is down the, uh, too shy of max. Yeah. Damn. Truly incredible. Nice. Uh, make this controllable, and throw it down on this guy. Uh, but he does have a chance if he can save against it. Um, Let's see if he can hit a DC 20 with his plus five reflex save. No! <laughs> really calm. <laughs> really fucking calm. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. God. Again! Oh, Again! Oh, he says, I want that. <laughs> he stabs at you. You, like, go back, and then you just put this thing into his chest as flames billow from his face and he falls down dead having taken 32 <laughs> fire damage <laughs> somewhere in the back of Apricius's mind he sees uh, the image of Treju like nodding at him like, like with that blank ex thousand yard stare oh, oh, frogs like out, sticking out of their mouth thumbs up <laughs> Uh, yeah, this guy screams in agony because of the horrible way that you just killed him. He burned a man to death. Uh, Again. In Again. Less than six Again. seconds. Again. Uh, Truly but, hey. Count for one. Good <laughs> God, yeah. Um, oh, God. Um, okay, well, now that I've burned a man to death. Again. Again. <laughs> I'll never love this down. Uh, he'll reach a hand out and with his last action, fire a magic missile at the sharpshooter. So let's pull this out. It's a one action magic missile. Uh, and who, sorry, who is this at? At the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter, cool. That guy takes uh, three force damage. Um, as a little boom, bolt comes up, cracks one of the one of the goggles, the lenses of his night class. Just oh, shards of glass in his eye, <laughs> shattered uh, forearm bone. This guy's having the worst day. 
No, I think I'm know. having a worse day. I'm, I'm gonna just point to the guy who just had his lungs burnt out from inside him. Arguably, oh, he, he didn't have a having. chance. <laughs> this day was over quick. He didn't suffer it that much. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 this guard from over there says, really? "I made uh, the right choice." And runs <laughs> off. <now. laughs> just you know, uh, really, what what how what is a less painful way to die truly than just being burned alive in under four seconds. <laughs> Third really degree burns are painless. Seconds, you yeah. cooked that guy. Yeah. <laughs> terrible. Hate it. it smells <laughs> terrible. Uh, so that's that guard's turn. That guard is running away and living his life. Though, that guard did hear you shout, I am Kasana the Spear, and I am stopping you. <laughs> so say hello to some new infamy within the, the Parish of Rule. <sighs> Round four begins. It is Sad Jack's turn. Uh, he, um, he has a little bruise on his belly from that push kick, um, but he just runs, uh, hops on top of the log, runs over here, uh, holding that hatchet, and says, Good night! <laughs> um, and we'll see how he rolls. As he swings down his death. Oh, yes, Jack! Yes, Jack! <laughs> Uh, kind of, uh, is a hatchet a d6 or a d4? It is a d6. Means, yeah. Sweet. D6. Uh, he, he looks at you and he says, This one's for you, giant! And just slams his hatchet into the head of this juggernaut. Um, does nine uh, damage to him. Um, uh, one action left. Um, kind of leans down and says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. I want to kill you. You know what? I'm going to kill you. Um, and uh, declares Damn, declares oh, the juggernaut his prey. Uh, <laughs> Very personal. I love him. <laughs> Jack's the best. Can we can we add Jack to the party? Uh, hey, if I die, he, can I play Jack? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, I mean, we'll, we'll just remake him as a ranger. Um, yeah. Hell, hell of a guy. How a hell of a guy. Uh, and it is now the sharpshooter's turn. Um, he looks over and says, Fuck's sake! Ah! Um, points, uh, does a running reload, points at Orin and declares them uh, his new target. Uh, Kasana, you are no longer a target. Uh, as with his last action, the sharpshooter fires his musket at Orin Natsuku. That's Ooh. a crit. Or you take 31 piercing damage as you Jesus. feel your clavicle blow out from the behind. Ew. This is very terrifying to me here on the floor, currently bleeding. I, yeah, you see, you see just like a burst of, of blood and, and bone shatter come out of the front of Orin as this guy goes... Fucking right. <laughs> uh, Elzbieta, that is your turn. Yes. Um. So, uh, looking very terrified and distraught, um, I'm going to attempt to cast Ill Omen on the Juggernaut that is towering over me, ready to kill me. Um, okay. So, he's going to have to make a will save. Uh, okay. Let's give him a will save. And this is not against fear, which he has a bonus against. No. This is just a normal will save. Yes. Oh, that he God. fails. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so he will have to re-roll his, uh, his next attack against me, or against, well, against anyone, really. Um, and then I'm going to use my nightstick um, and get into a defensive position with it. So you're Okay, you're still prone. Can I? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Would he be able to get an attack against me if I? Get no, no. Up? We, we, it, you've. Oh, right. Because it's an attack of... opportunity. Yeah, okay, then I will like to uh, stand up. That's an action. <clears throat> so yeah. kill omen and then stand. Yes, those are my turns. Cool. Uh, as the dragon says, "God, my dance card's getting real full today." You sit back down uh, and swings his Zyhander at you. Uh, Twenty-one. No. Everyone hits re roll, roll, though. 15. Oh, oh 15 misses. <laughs> he he oh. Like looks 
looks at his sword hand, kind of confused, and then like does like an upward swing to try to do a back sweep at. No, actually, he's got a bunch of people around here. He's gonna sweep. He's gonna he's gonna swing and attack uh, and hit uh, Orin. Hits. That hits Orin. Uh, he's got a. It's got. His weapon has the sweep trait, which I believe gives him a a bonus. It's either a bonus to the attack or to the. Uh, it, it's damage. attack. It's attack. Yeah. Cool. So that's a that's a twenty six then. Um, uh, I believe doesn't... brutal weapons are to damage. Yeah, uh, I think it's forceful, maybe. Forceful, right, uh, right, right. Uh, so, Orin, you take 14 uh, slashing oh, damage. Right. Just realized I wasn't taking things off my temporary HP, so I'm just going to add that back to my <laughs> current. It's all good. All this good. is my second session playing a barbarian. Uh, yeah, and then he swings back around at uh, Osbeta. Misses wildly. Just then, oh. that one's just just a big whoo, overarching swing to like kind of clear the air around him. Yeah. <sighs> um, and then oh, becomes the God. other juggernaut <laughs> fighting Kasana, who refuses to give in, refuses to give up. Uh, will make something of this fight for himself. Swings at Kasana the spear. So twenty-three. That's hit. Uh, Sixteen slashing. Swings again. 18 is not going to hit. Swings a third time. Just. Uh, he's doing his three his three hit combo. Pressing the Y button for that heavy attack. Uh, <laughs> when it hits, it hits. But when it doesn't, it's just these huge arcing swings. Um, You've run out of stamina. You need to. Wait, this is very, very Dark Souls. Just got to. Uh, yeah, so Kasana, that is your turn. Kasana oh, points up to the sky and says, You will not be there when we bring back the sun. As she casts guidance on herself. <laughs> Love it. Lovely. Love it. Love her. Ugh. And, uh,. She spends a hero point. This is probably your last one. This is my last hero. That's a 19. Smacks it out of the way. So uh, you're not bringing back shit. Uh, and... Incredible God. that this guy has survived. Hold on. I, I'm just checking yeah, uh, my things. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I've only got one action left, so uh, she's just going to... I guess I'll just make another attack. Cool. Oh, fingers crossed. Ugh. Close. Uh, well, not close at all. <laughs> um, but not <laughs> bad. Uh, but yeah, this guy continues to live. All right. Orin, that is you. All right, let's uh, take attempt to take a swing at the uh, juggernaut. Pissing me off. Twenty-two will hit, dealing uh, nine plus three, eleven, twelve damage. Mm hmm. And I want to uh, try and trip him. Cool. Get him on the ground. Cool, that'll be an athletics attempt. Off the floor, man. Yes. Uh, probably won't do it. It will not. Yeah, fair enough. Um... He, like, he like steps over it is like in like a kind of uh, repositioning step. Uh, would you allow me to use my movement to, as I am quite a strong person, to literally force myself between uh, this better and this juggernaut and move her back. Like, uh, yeah, Elisabetta, will you allow yourself to be pushed? Yes. Uh, then, yeah, I'm you not... can spend your action. Uh, yeah. If, if Elisabetta had any reactions, she would use the... She would she not be able to have them. She could just use up her reaction to allow herself to be pushed. Yes. Cool. But, yeah. Thank you. 
<laughs> Fantastic. If you just like put a hand on her shoulder and they just shove her past, step over, you feel like the soreness in your own like uh, clavicle. Mm. Uh, and that is Oren's turn, I believe, right? Yeah. It is. It's me. Aprikus. Uh, well, first things first, I'm just going to sustain the flaming sphere and get it to go whizzing over to my friend the guard here. You should still Sweet. be within 30 of me, so. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's see that roll. Ooh. Nice. Let's see that roll. He dodges it. Nice reflexes, dude. You're in heavy armor, too. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. These guys are pretty tough. Well, uh, that didn't quite work how I intended it to, so. <laughs> this is awkward. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'll Are you tell saying you. half damage on a basic save? No damage. This is specific uh, to flaming spear. Specifically Fla not for this. Spear, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. Well, he dodged and ducked and dove. So mm -hmm. <laughs> all three. Gosh dang! Duck, dodge, dive, and something. Uh. And dip. Thank you. Ding, ding, dog, and do. So an electric arc uh, will come out instead. Cool. And he'll, he'll make another reflex save. Yep. Um, Hope he doesn't do it twice. Fingers crossed. Oh, nope. Good. That is a failure. He takes the full seven ah. damage. He is looking really rough. Zap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, sweet. Uh, that is your name. That is your, that is your turn. Mm -hmm. Your name. <laughs> yeah. Next is the guardsman who ran. It is no longer him. Uh, and now it is Sad Jack's turn, who is going to do an aerial cartwheel uh, and then land on the uh, in between this, the, 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 the kind of roots of this tree, standing on them. And he goes, All right now. Um, and okay. swings his hatchet. Seriously, anyone watching the stream, go listen to our boy Jack by the mechanisms right now because it's just Mwah. deadly. Uh, yeah, so swings, misses, is going to swing one more time. Misses again. Uh, this this guy's like kind of like got a sword behind him and blocking these strikes. Um, Wait, mm -hmm. did the juggernaut take the critical fail damage? From does the oh, that uh, was a one. Arc. That was a one. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot the rank degrades. So, it does. Yeah. Um. So he did not. So he'll take another seven damage. Okay. okay. Juggernaut is on death's door. Cool. Cool. Um. Sad Jack does not hit this guy. Next is the sharpshooter. Um. Who is gonna aim down sights once more at Oranatsu? 20 hits. Ugh. hits. You take 9 plus 7, uh, which is 16 piercing damage mm -hmm. um, as mm -hmm. he ch ch um, turns over to uh, 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 um, turns over to the juggernaut uh, and says, Luke, it's done. Get out of here. Um, and then fires again. This is that Orn again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that hits. Another eight piercing damage. Okay. And this that is, is fine. And that is Elisbieta's turn. Um, um, okay. Uh, is the sharpshooter still, still on where he is? Over here? Yeah. Okay. Then in which case, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, um, Do you have any uh, potions? No. Uh, I didn't take any. Well, you um, should still have that elixir of life unless you used it, yeah? Okay, I didn't know if we had divvied them up. Um, yeah, we all got then... one. At the cabinet. You have plenty of time to handle that in off screen. Yes. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna book it 
this way, I think is 25 feet. Um, I'm gonna then I'm gonna book it further. Hold on. That was right here. So I'm gonna, oops, I switched. Okay. I just want to use two actions then to get just out of the way this way. Um, I don't want to go too, I can't go off the map, but this is kind of like as far as I can go, I think. And then what is the elixir? 3d6 plus 6. Uh, yeah, if you have the, the big one, the good one. The Alexa, yeah, the one yeah. we got from Alexi, yeah. Yeah, I, ju I just looked it up, that's the only reason I know. Yep, lesser and oh, minor specifically. So. Thank you. Yes, so I'm going to add that back. <laughs> so you're fine. It's yes. Oren who's fucked now. Yeah, yes. but Oren yeah, should I'm also sure. have an elixir of life on their belt. So. Yes, but it's not my turn for a little nope. bit. Well, it's yeah, the, that yeah. is true. And the juggernaut is going to swing. Oh yeah, yes. swing. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Swing, juggernaut, swing. Oren, you're going to take 36 damage, but that doesn't matter because mm -hmm. you only have 7 hit points left. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd be knocked prone anyway, but this guy just huge furrow in your chest uh, as your your scythe falls from your limp grip, and you uh, fall to the ground, dying too. Ooh, yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. Great. Uh, and he um, then turns around and swings. <laughs> he goes, fucking lives, do you rot? Turns around and swings at Jack, misses. Yeah! Um, good for him. Uh, and then is going to start moving his way over here. <laughs> uh, next is the other juggernaut um, who kind of looks back at the sharpshooter, looks at you, runs hops onto this horse. Um, and he takes his long, his, his greatsword and swings uh, in this in this chopping arc, um, breaking the harness that the horses are, are connected by. Um, pulls off his helmet and says, uh, you, uh, son, lady. Asana the spear. The son of the spear. My name is of Lucian the People's Bogdanak. Crusade. What's your name? Sorry, I was I was telling you. Uh, it says my name is Lucian Bogdanov. If I see you again, I will kill you, because then I'll be a, a major NPC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he clicks the, the, the his, his he hits the the, the horse's hooves. Uh, and the horse gets to use two actions to. Woo! Run away. Yeah, uh, 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 she 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 nods at him as he leaves and says, "Live well until that day." No, don't live well. Go die in a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> and that is uh, Lucian. Lucian goes and leaves. Cassandra, the spirit is yours. Shriek, big like Cassandra. <laughs> yeah. Cassandra. <laughs> Right. Uh, so, Kasana. Um, I'm just checking a thing. It because that's that's think, thirty. That's two actions say. of move. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, she gets to here. Um, she unfortunately cannot actually reach Orin uh, with any spells yet. Uh, and uh, from here, oh, Orin, Orin she Orin. is going to uh, mm -hmm. uh, look at this sharpshooter. Shake her head. And uh, bring the guy's arm down on him. Oh, does it enlarge increase your reach? It yes, does. I am mm -hmm. not ten feet. I'm fifteen right now. Jesus nice. Christ! Uh, also, 
that's 18 damage because of the large size. Mm -hmm. Uh, he looks up at you, um, and you, like, kind of look at him, and he, like, starts to whip his musket up, and you just... And this guy falls down dead. And as that happens, you see some, uh, black, uh, energy leaving his mouth as Kasana absorbs it into her, uh, aura of life and light. As I use Death's Call. What was his level? Uh, he was level three. So I gained seven temporary hit points. <laughs> and <laughs> my curse overwhelms me. She kind of like buckles. Uh, if she would had to, she can no longer cast uh, curse bound uh, spells today. Uh, or sustain them. Fortunately, she doesn't have to do either. Good job. Uh, very cool. Very cool. That is Kasana the Spear. Aprikas, that is you. Let me just take a quick measurement of distance. Uh, no, not quite. Just gonna move myself a little bit this way and see if it's still... Step over the charred corpse of your latest victim. Yep, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Real serial killer stuff. Just kind of very, very disturbed by it, as I usually am. Um, the yeah, fireball, he will cease to sustain because he no longer has need of it. It won't reach that far. Uh, but he'll just sort of mutter something more annoyed than anything as he uses his second set of magic missiles to ping the juggernaut. Cool. Uh, so that is uh, both. That is both. Both of them. Correct. Uh, as juggernaut takes like nine force damage, he's starting to get a little. He's uh, he's just he just dropped below two thirds. He is not yet bloodied, but he is uh, starting to look a little hurt. Title probably turn i would hope at this point we think <laughs> uh fantastic Caprica, uh that is round six as sad jack just charges this guy with his hatchet ha! uh, and hits hell yeah hell yeah arming sad jack was one of my best choices i've made primo choice uh, Deals 11 uh, slashing damage as he just brings it right up under this guy's armpit. Um, oh! You feel that? You feel that? It hurts, doesn't it? Uh, and then pulls back and swings uh, again. Uh, probably won't hit. Nat 20. Nat 20. Oh. Against the Oh, odds. yeah! Whoa, yeah. That's what? my boy! <laughs> we love Sun yeah. Jack. Uh, this one gets under the uh, bucket helmet into this guy's neck. Oh, oh. gracious me. Uh, this guy is now bloody, is looking rough, is looking hurt. Uh, that is Sad Jack's turn. The sharpshooter is dead. That was All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to see if I can line up a shot against him. Mm -hmm. Nope. It's a seven. What is yeah. your what is your attack bonus? Um, well, even with my proficiency uh, being trained in it, plus my int modifier, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't get close. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna continue to book it. I'm gonna move another. I'm gonna move. I'm just gonna keep moving. <laughs> cool. Just gonna get as far away from him as I can. Just be like, no, no. <laughs> Bear. Um, and All then right. I'm gonna reload because uh, I don't think I reloaded before, actually. <laughs> Sweet, Orin. Mm -hmm. You got knocked down by a critical hit. You are at dying two. Yeah. You need to roll a d20, mm -hmm. and you need to roll a twelve or above to reduce your dying condition by one. If you fail. Your dying condition will increase by one, taking you to dying three. If you fail that, if you critically fail, yep. your dying condition value increases by two, taking you to dying four and killing you. Yep. Do you have a hero point? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I remember that you can you, you can burn all your hero points to. So you could recover. spend all of your hero points to stay alive. So as long as you don't roll a one or a, a one two. or a two, 
you will survive long enough for probably somebody to be able to help you. Please. Please, your dice need to not be cursed. Please! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh Fuck my god! Out. They're just fucking with you at this point. They really are! <laughs> so, yeah, oh just... My god. If it was one lower... Uh -huh. Warren would be dead now. Uh, Warren would be dead, and I would have to think I... about some things. This is the first time. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. But now, but now I don't have to think about it for another round or so. Uh, Orin. <laughs> By that time, Cassandra we... could reach you, and we'll be fine. Dying value you... increases to three. Dying three. If you take any damage for any reason, <laughs> you're dead. Uh, uh, Zach, uh -huh. don't even think about turning that juggernaut around. <laughs> or I will come and fight you. I'll just I'll no. just come out. I'm one state away. I'll come fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be clear. I would pay good money to watch Mab versus that. Let me be uh, clear. <laughs> uh, thankfully, this juggernaut is a little bit more pragmatic than that. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to double tap everybody. He just needs to stab or slice at this guy who is swinging a uh, uh, hatchet at him. As so he just pushes him off and turns around and swings. Oh, how Jack dare you! 28. Not quite a crit, thank oh, God. <sighs> as uh, as Sad Jack takes 16 damage. Sad Jack is looking rough. Sad Jack is bloodied. He is, He's looking sad. Uh, he is ragged. Um, He's still another, It's always... It's, it's, it, he, is, he has Joker. never... It's a legendary electrochemistry check to get rid of the expression. You couldn't get rid of it. You can't stop, <laughs> even if you wanted to. Um, a lot of disco Elysium jokes in this one for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> uh, still grinning. Um, pulls back, but if he does that damage again, Sajak is down. As he swings once more. Uh, misses. And miss. Yeah. Oh, that goes. Oh, hey! God, oh, Jesus! Cassandra, <laughs> this beer. That is your turn. Please save our friends. <laughs> nah, take take care of the juggernaut. This is dramatically. In, I want no. Let let Cassandra be Cassandra in this moment for sure. Please. What this would is do? interesting. Uh. It is. So, it, it just is up to Kasana. Absolutely. Kasana. Moves here. <laughs> and she points at Orin and says. Show me why you haven't died yet. And uh, she's going to cast a second level moderate curse heal. Uh, two actions. A second level or two actions? Both. Yeah, a second. Yeah, right. Right, because you can just do it. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, 28 healing. So. So. Orin, mm -hmm. you are in that liminal space between waking and dreaming, between living and dying. And it is in this space that both of you are fully conscious and cognizant and able to communicate with each other. You might not remember much once you awake, but we do get a little bit of a, a little sight of of both of you in your own sort of astral space. we see or hear anything before we come back to the real world? I think so. I'm just trying to think what exactly this is. I think... I don't 
don't think Oren looks like Oren here, or not what the camera has seen of him at this point. It's somebody much smaller, um, just a, probably a very tired looking uh, human man with a, the same sort of kind eyes and easy smile. Looks at Eren and says, Why didn't you go? Why did you choose to stay? And Erin, who is a maybe 18 year old girl with light blonde hair and a profile that, if anyone was looking and could see her like this, would think she looks familiar but not quite be able to place it, maybe. And she looks at him and says, I wasn't ready to go. There are things that I need to do that should be done. I think you and I are in this for the long haul together. What the fuck do I know? I am a farmer's daughter. I think Aaron doesn't have a chance to respond before the spell kicks in. We come right back out of it, back into the fight. Uh, Kasana, do you have any more actions left? Nope. That was right, a move and two still. action heal. Move and two actions. That was 24, is... right? Healing? Uh, 28. 28. Am I now wounded three? No, you're Sorry. only wounded one. Okay, that's how that works. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Doesn't matter how far, how much you, your dying condition increases. It's only increases by one each time you. Cool. Uh, yes. Uh, Aprikis, that is your turn. Okay. Uh, Aprikis will attempt to see. Let me see where 90 feet lies. Can I reach that in time? No, I can't. So he'll bust ass over to essentially reach this point here. Uh,. I mean, he may as well vault over the fence at that point, so... Is the fence difficult terrain? Uh, yeah, it's just difficult terrain. You can just scramble over it. So then he'll make it to about here. Hell yeah. And that's three. That's three. Getting into position. Uh, next is Sad Jack. Let me just real quick uh, look at the hatchet weapon. It's just agile too. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, he is going. I guess he's just gonna keep chopping. You know, <laughs> you're a tree that's got to go down. Oh. Misses though on that first strike. Manages to hit on the second. does 10 damage to the juggernaut as he swings the juggernaut like blocks uh he this uh sad jack um kind of goes down and just chops him in the ankle <laughs> pulls back and he says come on then um and uh yeah it doesn't really have anything else to do except scream in uh the juggernaut's face as it becomes elspieth's turn Whacking and whacking and okay. smacking. Yeah, whacking and smacking. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, take um, a step forward, so I can be within that 40 foot range. Mm -hmm. Hold up your and gun. I'm, hold up my gun and roll a d20. Fingers crossed. Got to think about it. No shit. In Fuck titties. Credible. Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I don't know why that sentence um, was pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to just swear a bit, a lot, and lower the gun and um, just stand my ground and wait, I guess. Cool. I don't really have the yeah, You're trying to find a shot. 
Or oh. actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna just okay. keep moving back towards the pier. Just so I'm like, I'm just gonna poke around then. Cool. I'm just gonna use my other. Orinatsuku, you are yourself again. You feel clutches, uh, flashes, glimpses of, of, of another place, um, a battlefield that you were on. It feels like moments ago or maybe a dream. Um, as you reflexively snatch up your scythe, you are on the ground. I sort of plant my scythe next to me and get up. And I walk towards that juggernaut and I take a swing. Just like, and I'll move so I'm flanking because I've good. got the movement to do it. And I just walk up and um, and I say to this juggernaut, because I'm not raging right now because I went unconscious. Mm -hmm. So, and I just say to him, you know, if you're going to kill something, you should really make sure it stays dead and take a swing. 26. <laughs> 26 will hit as you hit it. It goes, it impales this guy through the, the midsection and pulls out, lets out a just a gout of blood from the behind his faceplate, still standing. And um, I just sort of like it back out. Mm -hmm. uh, sweet. It is his turn, and he says, <laughs> Good advice. And swings at you. <laughs> I'll hit. You hit. You take another 16 damage. Uh, he whips back to swing at Matt, at Sad Jack. Hit Sad Jack for 13 no, Jack. damage. Oh. Jack is on his last legs. Oh. Jack has sub five hit points. God, Jack. No, Jack. Jack, no. Um. Don't go. <laughs> Jack, Jack no. Me. Nimble. <sighs> Uh, as he swings <laughs> back again. Uh, goes wide in that last swing, but of course he goes. Kasana, that is you. Kasana is... Uh, actually, let me check a thing real quick. Okay, not quite. Um, so... Kasana is going to step here. She's going to uh, use a one action heal on Jack. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Actually, she's not going to use a one action heal. She's going to use her. Oh. She's going to use battle medicine. Oh, okay. <laughs> she pulls out some scrap and uh, she just, she just like is. She just slaps him with bandages and says, Three men have died today for your life. Think about it. And you, you look at the battlefield, there's two dead so far. So it's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> She's already resigned herself to killing this last one. Doesn't hurt, that's, doesn't help. That's not going to do it. Uh, yeah, he looks uh, down at like the like, kind of haphazard poultice on his chest, and he goes, "All right." <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a there's a there's a wait wait wait, wait 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 wait. God, uh -huh. what am I thinking? I was uh, whatever. I already did it. I was going to heal so I could get the other thing. I'm I'm still figuring out the rotation. No, you're worries. good. This is only session two. Like uh, yeah, we do get a brief get a load of this lady, Cam, as as he looks back at Oren. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and then she's gonna uh, dr drop the silver guy's arm on uh, this guy. Uh, what I would give to get a get a load of this cat cam. So that's fourteen <laughs> slashing damage. Fourteen slashing damage is more than enough. Uh, as you just the the weight of this massive weapon just cuts down into this guy's body. Um. Uh, more than killing him. Uh, and as he falls, Orin, in the back of your head, you hear, they are the wheat and we are the reaper. Uh, 
as um, Soren Tatar kind of strolls out, puts their hands up and says, well, I would call that one a thundering success. Uh, and as they say that, there's a clap of lightning and rain starts to fall. <laughs> what a dramatic bitch. And there is where we will end our session for today. Next time, we um, will see, uh, we, we'll return to the Ram Camp. There will be, I'm sure, great celebrations uh, with the return of Sad Jack, the greatest woodsman of the Rams. Uh, <laughs> and we will look into how you might infiltrate the forest of death surrounding the Vanatory Lodge. <laughs> Who said anything about infiltration? <laughs> please, please, we need El to do something. LGBTQ and Jack will like infiltrate. Uh, yes, thankfully Jack has a great, uh, pretty solid stealth skill and a great survival skill. <laughs> um, a lot of following the expert happening next session, mayhaps. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I think um, so. You love to see it. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, I have been your game master, Zachary Fredrickson. Uh, as I said at the top, you can find me on Twitter, Outskidding God. You can find all of the music I do it. I am bugbear.bamcamp.com. Uh, let's run you through some plugs um, while we still got people before we say goodbye for this fortnight. Uh, I've been joined by my friend Bitmap. Hello, I am Bitmap Prager. Uh, I have been your spear for today. You can find me on places such as Twitter and Patreon at, uh, at BM Prager. Uh, mm -hmm. And also, uh, next week, uh, end of next week, starting the week after, that air, that's next weekend zone, uh, a Kickstarter for the comic I'm working on with the writer Emily Reisbeck will be up. It is called Mountain, and it is about... Uh, dealing with death and also uh, Mobius style art, and also there's a mouse and a bug man, a bug Mo envy. So Mo there you go. Uh, it is so cool. I've seen a little bit uh, of uh, of the in progress uh, work that that they're putting into it. Uh, it is fantastic. And he's a great friend. Um, by the time this vod hits youtube so if you're watching this on youtube on the day it comes out that kickstarter should already be live I'll, i might even put a link uh into the uh vod description um back that that book deserves to be made that book deserves to be oh, paid yes. for it's going to be so cool and there's a little mouse there's a lot of little guys running around in it a little um, guy. yeah we would love guy. to see a little guy yeah you love to see a little guy running around <laughs> Everyone does. Um, also joining me today has been uh, Corey. Hi, I'm Corey. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Endless Musings. I actually do have a plug this time. I support a oh, voice yeah. acting group who is currently in the long haul process of trying to read through the entirety of Homestuck. So if any of you oh care to try and tackle that beast with the help of voices, please head over to youtube.com slash foxes and you'll see the fruit of our labors as we try and get further along in that. Uh, other than that, it's been wonderful. One more illuminated. One <laughs> more down. And your murder boy for today has been... Uh, well, it's, it's, less than others, actually. The, yes. it's, it's Aprikus, Aprikus cuts another uh, notch in his leather satchel that's marked notches. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've also been joined today by Jade as Oren. Hello, I continue to be Jade. You can find me on Twitter at Joes. If you like to hear me play games, you can check out Follow the Leader at FTLcast on Twitter and at FTLcast.com. Mab and Zach are also cast members. Uh, mm -hmm. We play GMless games. Uh, different people take the lead. It's a really good time. Uh, we have a guest a bonus episode. Look for Camp Saltburn. Emily Riesbeck guest played with us. It was a mm -hmm. fucking hilarious time. Uh, it's all mini arcs, so you can dip in and out. But Zach and Mab were both on that game as well as myself mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with Emily. And it you was. Want to get a, a look into so the twisted mind behind Mountain? Uh, we played a summer <laughs> camp for delinquent wizards. Young wizards. Uh, it was so good. Great. Uh, so much fun. Um, we, we just we just recorded a fantastic episode that's going to be coming out in a couple months. 
Um, mm. Not with Emily, but with the three of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, if you like the notion of guerrilla warfare against uh, uncompromising <laughs> elites, you can check out Dumb Kids Playing Hero. It's an Animorphs inspired Great. podcast where a bunch of 20 somethings in Boston take on the Yurk Empire trying to enslave the earth. That's DKPH Pod on Twitter. Hell yeah. Uh, and last but not least, we have been joined by Mab. Hi, I'm Mab. You can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Patreon at Little Lady Mab, doing shenanigans and mm. yay! Getting two crits in a game is pretty damn cool. Yeah, yeah. You almost killed as many people as a Precus. I just brought them down really low. I didn't okay. actually kill anyone. Uh, function. I just made it dead. easier for other people to kill. I'm afraid uh, uh, two of the three deaths today were Cassandra's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kasana, um, how about that? How do you one, feel? one last plug. Um, Standing Stones, which is the guild we are a part of and whose Twitch we're brought to, we are sponsoring a wrestling event. Paris is bumping. It's a pay-per-view on Saturday, July 10th. You can find them on Paris. Where is it? Paris is bumping on Twitter. Check them out. Great indie wrestling scene. Uh, we are sponsoring one of the main events, which mm. is the debut of two trans women doing a title belt. So you should check out Paris is Bumping Indie Wrestling at its finest. Sounds sick as hell. I cannot wait. Uh, All right. Well, until next time, uh, remember, um, the sun doesn't shine unless we go outside. Uh, (laughs) Otherwise, who could say? (laughs) It's shining. I can see it shining out of my window right now. (laughs) Who knows? Could be a lie. <laughs> All right. Uh, is this is this is this is this sunlight or is this just stu- studio lights? Sun's a conspiracy. Who could say? Who could say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. See you next time. Cheers, everybody. Good night, everyone. Cheers. Bye.